right, welcome in Twin Flames. Let's see where we go. This is your weekly reading. Let's take a look for the collective and see what's going on for the divine feminines, the divine masculines, what is going on right now. Sometimes it's relationship to each other, sometimes it's not. Uh, for those of you who want to get more information on the true purpose of Twin Flames, I'm going to link a video I made the other day. Uh, and I'm also going to start putting up here on Souls on Fire, I'm going to be putting up um, videos about Twin Flame astrology. So last year I asked for um, Twin Flames to send me their birth charts, the couples, okay, the couples. And also you must have had your birth time in order to participate in this. I'm, I'm going to make a series of videos that are going to talk about what I learned from those 500 charts. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me so long, but it really was kind of in-depth um, information. So you're going to see those videos on this channel over the course of the next few weeks. I'm going to take my time doing this information because I want to make a video on each one of the things that I've learned. and. Um, I think that'll be a good way to talk about it. I'll be I'll be mentioning it a little bit in these uh, weekly readings. Also, over if you want to understand your birth chart more, we're going to start talking about synastry at some time at some point. Synastry, which is the chart of two people, I do a mentorship program called Mastering Your Birth Chart, and we will talk about those things. Also, in my Accelerate Your Ascension group, I'm going to talk about those things too. All right, Mystic Healer protected by angels finding sanctuary opening to your spiritual source um so some of you are i got this in the morning message um over on soulful revolution uh for the 18th of january that some of you are finally stepping into your roles as healers and some of you are really taking the opportunity of all planets direct starting on the 23rd of january to deepen your connection with spirit it's like you're finally figuring out that external information coming from outside of you, even readings and things like that, like you are picking up, you're resonating with some of these readings or resonating with what I'm saying. That's your intuition telling you, yes, this is for you. And I, I feel like some of you really want to deepen that. So I will be making videos about that too, deepening your intuition, deepening your tel telepathy with your twin flame. So all of that coming along this winter. Okay. Nine of wands underneath. This is the divine feminine I'm looking at right now, the energy of the divine feminine, the world, king of wands, justice, three of cups, and the fool. I love it. This came out, same thing, well not same thing, but... Um, the energy of the fool, I believe it was last week, came out as the outcome card too. And that says to me, especially with the world and the justice card here, the world is like, we're closing up a cycle. We're not doing things that way anymore. I'm stepping into my power as a healer. Uh, I'm recognizing that the universe has my back. King of Wands is um, life partner. Okay, King of Wands is definitely a life partner. I'm saying that because the justice card is here. And... I feel like this is twin flames coming together as a as a couple. Look at this world card. If that's not union, I don't know what is, right? And we are, now that Mars is direct, some kind of action can take place, which I will explore. Action can take place. This is very, um, all the struggles and the problems of the past are being incorporated the energies are being transmuted um there's a celebration and this could be a wedding here this justice card and the three of cups it's sort of foretelling that their energy is is possible this is the beginning though of the journey this is the beginning of a new journey the world and the fool that's incredible that the first card is the world and the last card is the fool this is the journey that the new path. So we'll explore that path. Let's look at the divine masculine, masculine, and then I'll put down some cards for the connection. All right. So the divine masculine, please. <clears throat> Just see the ten of cups. What's going on for the divine masculine collective? The energy of the divine masculine. Okay. 
nine of swords underneath. So we got two nines here. That's the end of a cycle. The divine masculine is a mental cycle, an idea cycle, or a lack of communication. Mercury has gone direct or going direct on the 18th. Um, divine masculine show up at, showing up as the king of pentacles, two of cups, stable enough and ready for partnership. I love this so much. Opportunity, seven of swords. Some of you are breaking out of any situations that are keeping you from your divine feminine. The four of wands. Yes, I have marriage on my mind. I have moving on my mind, coming together, sneaking away from another situation. Some of you have, some of you divine masculines have some kind of, I've seen this a lot, some kind of financial obligations that are holding you back from coming toward your twin. Um, and the six of swords. I like this. We're moving in the same direction. This card is also a helper card. So Six of Swords is a moving away from a challenging situation, Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, into something much more peaceful, much more, I'm not going to say grounded. I just feel like it's, because I don't feel that way. I feel like it's more whatever the day will bring kind of feeling. There's, there's lacking in, this is more romantic than it is, um, than it is about money and where we're going to live and all this kind of stuff. It's much more about like, ooh, let's be together. That's what I'm getting here. Really beautiful energy. So let's talk about the energy of the connection. What is going on here? In the extended, I'll pull cards for each zodiac sign. So that can be you or your twin. Just take it for whatever, whatever resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? <clears throat> so let's look at the energy of the connection here. I'm getting underneath is the Ace of Swords. The Angels card has the Ace of Swords also. So there's some kind of spiritual truth um, that is being, uh, you're opening up to as a divine masculine and as a divine feminine. There's some spiritual truth that you may have resisted or you may not have known even existed. So that's what's coming in for the connection. Oh, the Seven of Swords again. I'm, I'm going to look at that. The situation is the Page of Wands. The opportunity is commitment. Okay. If there was a third party involved in this particular connection, um, that has to be rectified. So if there was a, a cheating scenario or anything like that, before we get committed, um, we both know what happened between us. And so we're going to have to clear that energy. We're going to have to, um, I mean, you may feel like that's a special thing that happened because it's your twin flame. Uh, but I feel on a, on a general level in terms of trust, trusting each other, you're going to have to clear that. And I feel like there might be some, um, healing needed in order to <clears throat> move away from any third party energy really getting away from that. Now, that being said, the third party energy can also be children, can be children. So there's, uh, with some of you, the connection, um, may not be about children or you may, one may want children and one doesn't. That's something that needs to be discussed. All right. Something about a third party, but it doesn't always have to be a, a romantic partner. It can be the thing that kept you separate. The thing that kept you separated. Oh boy. Can't see this, but Oliver is. <laughs> okay, we're all set. <laughs> Five of Cups, and the outcome is the Queen of Wands. There is a feeling of loss here for me. And I'm going to get, I'm going to clarify that right, right, Skippy now, because I don't want to. Um, what is the loss here? Page of Swords, Four of Wands, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like there is, one of you is going to have to move from where you are in order to be together. There is going to be some kind of loss, okay? Um, some kind of loss maybe in terms of children, either not wanting children or that's not part of the plan here for this Twin Flame connection. Um, 
I feel like it's going to be easy enough to move. But there is a feeling that you are leaving something behind, which you are, okay? Some of you may be just getting out of a divorce. Some of you may be just getting um, clear of another relationship or of another kind of life. This is a very different life, it looks to me like. And I feel like in a positive way. I don't feel like, oh, I'm going to go from this like perfect life, even though I wasn't with a perfect partner, into something that I won't like. It's not that. You can create whatever you want. The Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands. There's a lot of like celebration here. Four of Wands again, the Three of Cups. Lots of celebration. This message, though, let's keep going here with this clarification. The Page of Swords is bringing in a message. <clears throat> Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords. Okay, so we still have some baggage, all right? The Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. We still have some baggage, or sorry, the Nine of Wands um, to clear. And I feel like there might be some um, old feelings from the past that need apologies. Um, there might be some third party experiences that happen that need apologies whatever it is it needs to be cleared in order for you to move forward in this new way some big truth needs to be told it's possible that if you guys i feel like you're coming together to be married long term you're going to have to write everything um with people in your life with your family with friends whatever um so if you knew if you met your twin flame, let's just say, and they were married and you guys have been communicating for years, um, I almost feel like there needs to be a clearing of that. Like, I don't know if, if you're if you're getting out of a relationship, if an ex really needs to be told. But I, I do feel like there's some kind of barrier to trust. That's the thing that needs to be cleared. So either apologies need to be made or a clearing of the air, maybe even a clearing of the air with children, um, so that this can continue. Ace of Wands, all right, new beginnings. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. I love the Four of Wands. Six of Swords is a great energy here. We are moving toward a romantic new beginning, um, but a clearing of the past is still necessary, okay? So I'm gonna continue on with this reading. I'll pull cards for each individual zodiac sign just to give you a little more clarity, and then I will do the do a another spread to see where we're going with this. Okay, Twin Flames, link is below if you want to continue on with this reading. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.